Hello and welcome back to another satisfactory video. I'm Total Eclipse and today we'll explain how to install the satisfactory mod manager to allow the installation of mods on Steam and Epic and afterwards we'll have a look at some of the options the manager has available to us. Now with Satisfactory Mod Manager, all your mods can easily be accessed on either platform. So how to install this? First, go to the fixit.app, the link is below, and from here you will need to find the Satisfactory Mod Manager. Currently it's only available at the top of the Mod Repository section, although I'm sure they will have a permanent section dedicated to it eventually. Alternatively, you can go to the GitHub page and download the Setup EXE. I'll have the link in the description as well, and once downloaded, install the Mod Manager. Now, if you already have the Satisfactory Mod Loader, you will find that it asks you to install the Mod Manager. So afterwards, once you've installed it, you will have this message that you can see here asking you to uninstall the old Satisfactory Mod Loader. And once done, you'll find the Mod Manager is installed and ready to be used, allowing you to now install mods for both Steam and Epic. So let's have a look at the Mod Manager itself. We have the new Dark Mode enabled and on the front face we have the option to choose Early Access or Experimental on Epic as well as the option of opening the game and mods to Steam. So this will allow you to select which platform you wish to open the game on. We also have a show filter allowing us to filter mods that are currently compatible with the chosen build, favorited mods, uh, installed mods and non-installed mods. Below we also have the search bar and if there's a specific mod you're looking for, you'll be able to find it there. Beneath this, we can enable the mods by clicking the slider, favorite mods by selecting the star or have a look at the mod overview. One tiny thing that I would love them to add here is to allow this open icon to become a close icon once activated. It's a tiny addition that isn't necessary, but originally I found this close tab difficult to find because it was actually hidden under my screen border. Anyway, I'm all the wiser now. Moving on to my favorite part of the mod manager is the select profile option allowing you to choose primarily between modded and vanilla game. However, next to it, you can add your own profiles. This is great for me as I use a profile with creative mods like Pack Utility and Permaday for tutorials and a modded gameplay profile for my Tuesday modded live streams on YouTube. Going into more detail, we can actually open the settings section in the top left hand corner and change the dark theme to light and more importantly, choose to export or import our mod profiles to other people, which is a great addition that I have no doubt I'll be using when jumping into other people's games. Now, if we close the settings section, once you've selected the mods you'd like to play with, you can actually go to the bottom and launch the game through the mod manager. And this works for both Steam and Epic, although you may need to sign in if not done automatically. And from there, you'll be able to play with the mods. So there you are guys, a very quick video on installing the mod manager and what it does and how to use it. So if you did find this video helpful, then please do drop a thumbs up, especially if you enjoyed my breakdown of the mod manager. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. We do mod spotlights and various other satisfactory game and content related uh, videos. Uh, you can find a few of them as an example in the top right hand corner now. But anyway guys, we are going to leave it there. So as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, ciao for now.